picture this 70% of the wood we harvest is processed from the wood, uh, by the wood industry, shaping the product around us, like in this room. This wood is probably coming from European forest, which represents nearly one third of the surface, but it's enough to provide wood for the internal market as, as well as for the export of wood and paper products. But here's the twist. Despite we are managing forests really successfully, our knowledge about the wood resource is in the dark. So with climate change, uh, with climate change hitting even more, our forest is even uh, under more pressures. So we want to expand the protect area for biodiversity. We want to, um, we want to decrease the harvest to uh, meet our national carbon pledges, but also we want more wood because we want to uh, expand the bioeconomy, for example, buildings, uh, bio-based uh, textiles, and fossil fuel alternatives, as we heard today. However, we are missing the link. We don't know where the wood is and how it's used. So today, I'm uh, delighted to unveil for the first time my forest industry uh, database. So we spent three years collecting information regarding forest industries aco across 13 countries. And we collected, for example, here on the left side, you see the green dot with the sawmills, the white dot with paper mills, and bioenergy represented by the red, red dots. 2,000, this information include 2,000 mills, and um, including location and capacities. So we are able to now pinpoint where the wood is needed and which kind of, uh, which kind of assortment is needed. We couple this information with the well-established uh, forest resource scenarios model. So now we bridge the gap. We know where the forest, where, where the forest is, how much is the wood, and what is needed for. With this knowledge, we can, um, with this knowledge which we can uh, then future project the wood utilization and optimize the wood utilization in Europe. And so doing, we can also project how climate change is going to affect the wood industry and how can we better manage our forest. So I believe at the end that together we can um, drive a sustainable development of the forest industry and combat uh, climate change effectively. Thanks.